prehistoric time. Here's Prehistoric pest consistently thwarting my plans for domination of the universe. The time has now arrived for Flint to meet his ultimate adversary. Come, Supra Ninja. You call, Master. Your mission is simple dispose of Flint and bring me the time shifters. I hear and I obey, Master. For thousands of years have I honed my craft, and grateful am I now to put my powers to your service, Lord. Consider it done. <gasps> What's the matter, boss? That porcupine pizza not agreeing with you? No! I got this letter from the Dark Lord, and I'm afraid he wants to break up with me! You're kidding! He hasn't even asked you out to a movie yet, has he? Both oh. jokes, clowns! Oh. My relationship is high-minded and lofty, not bushily romantic! Oh. The Dark Lord regards me as a delicate flower and behaves accordingly. Okay, then, how about I read it aloud for us while you listen? No, I couldn't take the shock! I'm much too fragile! Let's see here, it says, Dear Petrofina. No! I sincerely hope you like the gift I'm sending you. Uh, 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 huh? He sent a gift? I trust you'll find this trifle useful in your travels. What is this? Some kind of badge? Oh, my! Look, what a beautiful bracelet! He must really like me. I knew it all along. Come on, Jillian. Haven't you ever just wanted to let your hair down? We could have a really good time if we went out on a date. Dr. Goodman, despite your comment, I do consider myself a reasonably emotional person. You do? You really feel? Hmm. One moment. Huh. Just my luck. Mm, what's up now? We've located the time shifter known as Nightcap. He's in the 1830s with Hans Christian Andersen, who suffers from insomnia. Inserting time card. Court gets set for Copenhagen, Denmark. All right, time cycle, let's go. I missed lunch today, so I could use a donut. Will you please keep your minds on the target? We're here to find Nightcap, not food. Not food! Yes, Nightcap, who brings us sleep. Who's Anderson again? Hans Christian Anderson, Danish writer, lived from 1805 to 1875, wrote famous fairy tales. In fact, these! Wait, you brought a book of his fairy tales? Yeah! I don't know whether he's written them yet or not, but I guess we'll find out pretty soon. Maybe he'll autograph it. That'd be great! <gasps> Little bud. What the heck did you follow us for? Stories. It makes sense you'd want to meet Hans Christian Andersen. That's right. Nonsense. It was straight oh. from How could anyone over the age of 12 miss the point? I write dramas, and they're taken for comedies. Oh, oh Eric, forgive me. I blame the audiences for my failures when I should blame myself. Oh. Come now, Hans. Try to get a grip on yourself. Is that our man? I can't tell yet. Now, see here. You carry on as though you're the only playwright who was ever criticized. Oh, it isn't that. It's that I realized they're right. My plays are terrible. Now, Hans, I wouldn't say that. They just need a little rewrite. I've rewritten till I don't know which end is up. It's a nightmare. Ah, my friend, you just overwrought. Let it go for now. Stop worrying so much. Driver, over here. Go home, Hans. 
And for heaven's sake, try to relax, all right? Eric, I can't sleep. I'm consumed with frustration. I don't know what to do with myself. <sighs> the man can't swim. She's right. I better fish him out. I'll light the candle. Bring him in here. It's Flint, all round rescue guy. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, what do you know? Dear little friend, please give me a good night's sleep tonight. I am at a loss without your gift. Mm -hmm. Mr. Anderson, I'm sorry to trouble you, but we need to talk with you. It's about your friend there. What? Hey, what's going on, little buddy nightcap? A whole lot of your friends are waiting for you. You're ready to go back with us? <laughs> I can't let you take nightcap away. The only solace, the only relief I have is in consciousness during the dark of night. Why can't you sleep? I'm a failure. I can't bear it when the audiences laugh hysterically at my serious plays. My self-confidence is shattered. I lie awake in agony for hours. Only Nightcap has been able to comfort me by making me sleep. You're in a bad way. Yes, I'm a little sorry you saved me from the river. That's okay. I really needed a bath anyway. Uh, Mr. Anderson, this will all work out. Trust us. I promise you, sir, you'll be one of the best loved and best known writers of all time. Don't say that. Stop tormenting me. But it's true, and I can prove it. Look at this. Nightcap, put them all to sleep and make them stop. Everybody sleepy. Oh, uh, oh. Uh, oh. All sleepy. Sleep! A cheeseburger, please. That poor child, she's insane. Not insane? A nuisance, absolutely, but not insane. Thank you for putting them all to sleep, by the way. Actually, I think it's a little surprise arranged for me by the Dark Lord. Who are you? What do you want? Yeah. We're here to take your little bitty friend! You want him too? Never. You'll never take him from me. Uh huh. You have no idea who I am. I do. Well, what do you know? Talon! Hey, they're having a two-for-one sale today. Oh, very interesting koinky dinky that she's here. It's not a koinky dinky. It's another gift for my dark lord. Am I to understand that you three are actually human? Ah! I think you've hurt my boy's feelings. You reduced them to quivering masses of jelly. Oh! oh he coming to the quick, boss. We're just gonna have to teach you some manners, mister. Go on, boys, grab those time shifters. Maybe he'd hand them to us if we asked him politely. Always worth the try. Mm -hmm. When I want polite, I'll turn my TV set to the Manners Channel. You got a problem with that? Fairy tales. Oh, no. fairy tales. Open fairy tales. Open fairy tales. And... <laughs> <laughs> this dark dungeon. Huh? What? what? What's going on? Huh? Huh? Look! There! Huh? 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 Wakey, wakey! Huh? Huh? What hit me? A truck? What happened to us? Look, there's Mr. Anderson. Huh? huh? That's the little match girl. There's the Snow Queen. I read that one. There's the Ugly Duckling. Oh, he's cute. Hey, isn't that Thumbelina? They're all the characters from the stories he's going to write. Tell him. Uh, from stories I'm going to write? Hold on. Just a second there, Blotter Boy. I want those time shifters. How'd she get here? Same way we did, I guess. Enough of this chitter chatter. You can save your heartwarming stories for someone who cares. Stories! When I want stories, I'll turn my TV set to the fairy tale channel. Now don't waste my time. Go and get them, boys. Well, which part of go and get them, boys, did you not understand? Oh. We understood it all. We can't attack without weapons. Huh? Ah! No weapons and no ship. This can't be happening. Ah! Sound the retreat. But we can't retreat. Ah! 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 
She's more incompetent than I thought. <laughs> incompetent, huh? I dare you to say that to my face! Come on, show yourself! This is the Dark Lord's oh, idea of a delicate oh, flower? Oh, well, maybe he meant the cactus flower! Stop yelling! <laughs> it was I, Supra Ninja, who called you incompetent. So what you're saying is that voice was you? Oh, this could be a problem. Now I'm completely certain I've lost my mind. I serve only the Dark Lord. I have a mission to fulfill, and I will brook no resistance. Any challengers will be obliterated. Let all who hear my voice beware. <laughs> so much for introductions. What do you want, huh? Huh? Which one of you is the ferocious warrior called Flint? That's me. It is nothing personal to me, but I am required to eliminate you. <laughs> 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 Nightmare is the product of my exhausted brain. None of this is actually happening. It couldn't be. Such things cannot happen. It's not possible. I'm so desperately tired. What? <laughs> it's a bed. Ah, oh, yes. They'll be gone, and this nightmare will finally come to an end. Hmm. My own personal ninja. Wasn't that a totally marvy gift for the dog lord to send? Okay, now finish him off once and for all. All in my own good time, madam. Huh? I was not sent here to take orders from you. Uh, what? Are you defying me? You're a disgrace. <gasps> now, boss, don't pay any attention to him. Although it's kind of creepy that he can talk without moving his lips. Why not pretend to play along with him for the time being? You know, humor him. Especially since we don't have weapons. Hmm. Yeah, we can grab the time shifters later. The time shifters to which you refer are coming with me when I leave. What? But they're my ticket to the big time. That is not my concern. Oh, yeah, no, she sure thinks you're playing along. Now, get the shifters! Whatever you say, boss. Hand them over. Come back here. That's what felt pretty personal to me, pal. Don't take that from him. The Dark Lord will conquer all. I am merely his instrument. Say your final farewells, Time Detective Flint. Oh, you little kidding around? Come back here! Time Police never back down, pal. You have a reputation as a tough little guy, Flint. I'll show you how much your reputation worries me. Yes! Yeah! Well done, but beware! I'll teach you not to turn your back to me. You're not going anywhere. We're not going, kid. <laughs> Please, sir, won't you buy some of my watches? Watches? Don't you mean matches? You all look so terribly cold. Perhaps I can warm you. Oh! His characters are completely out of control. Oh! We're freezing this heat. Mr. Anderson! Mr. Anderson! Mr. Anderson, you've got to change your characters. Can't you go away? I've given up writing. You can't give up. You've got to give your characters direction. Yeah! <laughs> My dear young girl, I am much too tired to care about such nonsense. Nightcap, put them all back to sleep, would you please? Too much huh? noise. Sleep. A pretty wallpaper. <laughs> that stopped them. And how? We're safe, at least for now. Too much talking. I don't know what happened. I am completely worn to a frazzle, but I can't sleep. Oh, no, look out! I love it when they play hard to get this way. Got you! Oh! <laughs> right! Now petrified to nightcap cars! Ah! Oh, no! Hmm? Uh Nothing works! Not the way it's supposed to! What's the matter with this stupid place? <laughs> now what? Flint! Ah! Ah! You must yield! Ah! It really hurt! As the Dark Lord foresaw, the end of Flint is at hand! Oh! Oh! Not yet! What's this? Talon Shapeshift 2! Talon Master! Now we'll find out who's in charge when it comes to fairy tales. Talon Tales! Another student wants a lesson. Yeah. Oh, that was strange. 
think so? Witness my power! Snap out of it, son! There's trouble! Uh -huh. Behold my might and tremble before me! Think again! Give up? You're joking, of course. Super Ninja never withdraws. You're all talking paint, Ninja. Mm -hmm. You're gonna learn the lesson. Classes are now forming, friend. Take a number and get in line. Oh, for Pete's sake, I've never seen a fight with so much talking in it. I kept trying to get some confusion going here. <laughs> ah. Whoa! What in the world's going on? Watch as it unfolds like the lotus. Huh? <sighs> Come on, Flint. The ninja's not so tough. Uh, he's not so... what? Uh, let's go! The confusion is in Mr. Anderson's nightmare. Mr. Anderson, you gotta uh, help them. But I'm so confused. <laughs> Flint and Talon will fight as long as Mr. Anderson remains confused. I love this. I love it. <clears throat> An evil character should underplay Sinister Glee during Doom sequences. Do it, do it, do it. Don't you understand? You decide how the story turns out. Uh, yeah! See? You can write it right. Yeah! But I never wrote stories with these characters. You haven't yet, but you will write them and many others. How can you possibly know that about me? Are you a fortune teller? These are your creations. The Toy Soldiers, the Snow Queen, all of them. I created the Little Match Girl and the other characters? Flint and the Time Shifters need your help. But this makes no sense to me at all. How can you expect me to understand this? Please, you've got to have some faith in the people who believe in you. I know. It's hard to believe and there isn't time to explain it all right now, but your fantasy stories will be your legacy, your uh, gift to the ages. Uh... Sarah, help me. We've got to stop them ourselves. I wish I could help you. Could this nightmare hold the answer to my quest? Hey, son! Hey, stop! Can't you see you're fighting with the wrong enemy? You're mixed up! Flint is your friend! Huh? This shouldn't be! Yeah! Don't you know me? Ah! Tony! Don't to protect you! Ah! Stop it now! Huh? Wow! Ah! No! No! What's going on? Are you all right? Oh, Talon, thank goodness you're coming back to your senses. You had me scared. Huh? Huh? What is this awesome power I've never seen before? My little friend. <laughs> I fear you've been misled and deceived about these wondrous characters. Accept them. Take them into your heart as your new companions. I promise that I will work with them and weave stories to enthrall and delight you. Wow. I get the feeling this is all gonna work out. What a relief. What happened? I lost. Ah! When Mr. Anderson took control of his feelings, he created weapons no ninja can compete with. Few things in the universe are more powerful than a compassionate human imagination. I always wanted someone to read fairy tales to me. So, the ninja cries like a little kid. Wow! Oh, I'm going whoa, home to whoa, mama. Whoa. <laughs> Even though she liked my brother best. Yeah. See ya! All right, let's go. Great leaving. I withdraw. Friend! Oh, joy! Oh, thank you for your company. Now I can let you go. <laughs> Boy, it's nice to see him sleeping so peacefully. I think Mr. Anderson can write his stories now. That's great. Memory beam erase mode now in effect. Well, good morning, Hans. How are you feeling today? Better. I think I've had a revelation. Yes, that's obvious. While I regret the time I've wasted to date, it's surely better to come to my senses now than later. Oh? I woke up with the idea to write short stories for children. What do you think? Splendid. Really, I was worried about you. Hmm. Thank you for your concern, my friend. Well now, tell me something about this revelation of yours. Eric, have you ever had a frightening dream that made no sense? Well, yes. And then there came a moment in which you suddenly understood everything? Um, I'm not sure I'd go that far. My revelation was like that. <laughs>